Hello, I'm Courtney. Today I will be showing you how easy it is to use ArcGIS RESTJS to search for an address and receive its location. After watching this tutorial, I'll be able to see the coordinates and exact address of all matches based on a search. Currently, I'm on the ArcGIS developer's documentation page. Since I'll be using ArcGIS services through ArcGIS RESTJS, I will navigate there. Okay. Here we have more detailed information about REST.js, including a list of tutorials. I'm going to base this demo on the search for an address tutorial, so I'll navigate there. A link to this tutorial can be found in the description below. The solution to this tutorial can be found following a link on the right side of the tutorial page in CodePen. I've also included a link to the GitHub repo in the description below. Now, before I can use the location services, I'll need an ArcGIS account and a way to authenticate requests. I'll do so using an API key. To learn how to create and use an API key, check out the video in the top right. To start, I've already set up a node project. Now, I will install the necessary dependencies. These can be found in the API reference on the developer website. I'll install the ArcGIS REST request package, as well as the ArcGIS REST geocoding package. Now I'll handle importing what I need in a script file. I'll import API key manager from the ArcGIS REST.js request package. I'll also import geocode from the ArcGIS REST.js geocoding package. Next, I'll scope my API key. Please note that the key I'm currently using has been deactivated, so be sure to use a personal key. I'll also be sure to define my authentication parameter for the request. I'll then make a call to the geocoding service, ensuring to have four parameters of address, postal code, the country, and authentication. All right, now let's say that the address comes in as North Main Street, in postal code 38103 and country USA. I'll finally handle getting the results. Okay, after locally executing the file, by default, I get a list with the address score, which is the accuracy of the data and results, and location coordinates. Now the coordinates of an address can give the server a frame of reference to then enhance a user's experience. For example, this specific location can now be used to say, find the nearest gas stations to a client's geocoded location. Notice we have more than one result and the one with a score of 100 is listed first. The other result isn't as close of a match and therefore is listed second. Now let's say instead the data for the address field comes in from the client side incomplete. For instance, I'm going to change the address to say just Main Street without the north part. I'll execute the file and looking at the results now, the score for the original first result has gone down from 100 and its score actually now matches the other result, which has gone up from 96.65. The score result could be used on the server side to push a request on the client side for additional information about their address in such a case. To learn more about how score is calculated, check out the link below. In summary, I showed how to find information about a location using ArcGIS RESTJS to access the geocoding service. Please stay tuned for future videos and other ways to use ArcGIS RESTJS. If you have any comments or suggestions on this or future videos, please comment below. Thank you.